Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Siriana Tarot. This is going to be a Venus conjunct Mars twin flame reading for my dearest Taurus. Taurus, on July 13th, Venus and Mars aligned at 19 degrees of Leo. And this transit happens every two years or so. Um, and we're, we have been feeling this energy a week on either side of the 13th and we'll be feeling it a week after, okay? Um, so this transit will shine down creativity, harmonize any imbalances, and activate soulmate and twin flame contracts. So when Venus, the goddess of love, and Mars, the fearless warrior, come together, we feel an awakening of the feminine and masculine principles within us. This awakening will help shift our attitudes towards sexuality and relationships. All right, Taurus, so what I'm going to do is I'm reading Divine Feminine on the left, Divine Masculine on the right, and then we're going to see what's going on between you guys right in the middle. All right, remember, I'm reading energies. I am not reading gender, okay? So let's go ahead and see what messages come through for my dearest Taurus. So we have stolen, so the Divine Feminine, oof, either her heart has been stolen by the Divine Masculine or there's a karmic situation here involved. The Divine Masculine Resonance, ooh. So definitely seeing a lot of signs and synchronicities uh, is what I'm getting and contemplation and energy of thinking and you know the way that this, the, uh, the filter here on this card, it's definitely thinking about the past. Um, I do feel like there's an energy of regret um, about something that happened. Again, the Divine Feminine may have moved away from the Divine Masculine. Okay, there may be some sort of third party influence. Um, but it could also be here that there's this energy, this state of contemplation because the Divine Feminine has is enraptured and completely has had her heart stolen by the Masculine. So we have meeting. Oh, so for some of you guys, this was, you know, you guys met each other, you know, at a party or at work or in the store, um, walking the dog, wherever it might be. And this sort of shook everything up. For the divine masculine, there was this innate understanding that this is somebody very, very important to him and maybe in a state of contemplation. You might wanna check out the Libra reading if you guys have Libra in your chart or you're dealing with the Libra. Um, because, and I also highly recommend that you check out your North Node with these readings, okay? But the resonance, but there's something here, this, like I'm hearing echoes. I'm hearing that either there's a replaying of a meeting or a conversation or just a, whoa, who is that coming from the Divine Masculine? Or there's some sort of regret. Um, there's some sort of, you know, coulda, woulda, shoulda energy here. Um, it may be that you guys met and the Divine Feminine was in another connection. But I feel like I'm just feeling the reverb off of that resonance card, the echo of either the last thing you said to each other or, you know, the first thing that you said to each other or the only thing that you said to each other. All right, so let's see what's up with the Divine Feminine, please. So we have the King of Cups in reverse. So, mm, emotional mastery. So the Divine Feminine here, I feel like is feeling very overwhelmed or, you know, again, play with time, you guys, because it could be somebody you're in separation from. It could be somebody you, you've never even really met, <laughs> okay, or you're about to meet. But I do feel like the Divine Feminine is not feeling emotionally balanced. Um, she could either be regretting a choice that she made contemplating, you know, what went wrong in this connection, or, you know, again, it could be feeling a little bit like a victim of circumstance. Like, how is it that I meet this person who resonates with my vibration, my heart, my soul, but I'm in another connection. So this can indicate that she's either very closed off, 
um, or she's, you know, going through a bit of an emotional period. I do see somebody maybe drinking wine, um, maybe overly intoxicating themselves, the divine feminine could be you, um, you know, because you're trying to sort of reconcile with what happened here or what this is all about. 10 of cups. This is what it's all about. The divine masculine awoke something within you about happiness. I'm also getting a divine feminine who may have been dating or maybe in another connection that isn't emotionally fulfilling. And this may have been something she didn't even recognize until this meeting. Okay. With the divine masculine, we see synchronicity. So I'm seeing that some of you guys, you might have, this is not only the awakening of passion, but you and your most twin flames do though, but you and your divine masculine, if you're the divine feminine have some very powerful synchronicities, whether it's birth dates, whether it's names of people within the same family, um, whether it's you went to the same school, but different years, you know, there's just something here, maybe even in your birth chart, um, you both could have a lot of water or similar water placements. Um, but this is awoken complete contentment and joy. Now the divine feminine might not be able to show that, um, especially if she's in another connection, um, maybe suppressing it for whatever reason. Okay, so we see the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. So there's definitely possibility here that the Queen of Pentacles in reverse represents whoever the Divine Feminine may be with at this point in time. Um, it could be a partner, somebody who they have financial ties to, somebody who I feel like really keeps watch over their, you know, their activities and, you know, is very... Um, maybe a bit controlling. Okay. Maybe a bit, um, you know, maybe, maybe sensing that there's been some sort of shakeup or there's been some sort of emotional upheaval within the divine feminine. It could be even something that's been going on before this meeting. Okay. Or there were suspicions because it could be this fear that, you know, the divine feminine is really stuck on her ex, or if we know who that person is, but the queen of pentacles is also an energy here of the divine feminine feeling extremely exhausted. Um, having overgiven in a particular situation. Now it could be if there's something that went on between her and the masculine in the past or in previous relationships, it's sort of something that's coming to, coming to the surface to be healed and cleared. And we get the Knight of Cups in reverse. Okay. So romantic gesture. So I do feel like the divine feminine is either worried or dealing with issues related to commitment in the past, whether it's her own commitment, um, whether it's an unhealthy pattern of attracting people that are in and out of her life or who are disingenuous or dishonest. Okay. Or just out to sort of capture her heart because there's a lot of, a lot of people out there that experience, you know, somebody being somebody really chasing them. Um, and then once they get you or get what they want, then they leave. Okay. And so some of, there might be some love bombing here involved, either if this was with your connection or it's something the divine feminine has experienced that may have made her a little bit distrustful about wearing her heart on her sleeve. But this contentment and joy is absolutely present and you can see she's kind of looking away. Okay. And the person that she's with, okay, she's not, it's like, there's not this emotional, there's not this transparency. There's not this deep emotional connection. It may be for finances. Um, it could be that there's a, you know, there are children involved. Okay. And again, it doesn't have to be somebody that she's currently with. It can be, you know, this repeating pattern in her love life and relationships. So the divine masculine queen of swords, sharp and assertive. The divine masculine knows or knew right away upon meeting that this was somebody that he needed in his life or that was going to have a powerful impact. Um, I feel like the divine masculine is in this beautiful energy of being patient, uh, waiting, um, may not also, you know, the queen of swords is somebody who's been through a lot in love themselves, but you wouldn't know it, you know, because the, the queen of swords is still very loyal and very generous. Karma review judgment. So this is <laughs> look at that lightning bolt. You guys have been picking this up all reading with the divine masculine. He knows the divine or, you know, 
You know that this is your person. You know that this is a powerful connection. I feel like there's a there's a need or there's a want from the masculine to rescue the divine feminine from whatever circumstance she may be in. It could be loneliness, it could be another connection. But at the same time, the divine masculine is holding back because he knows that divine timing is at work and what is meant for him will never truly pass him by. There's a huge, you know, there's karma here that's being purged and released in this connection, there will be communication, breakthroughs and awareness. This is a huge breakthrough for the divine masculine. Um, in this reading, Taurus, it's so interesting because the divine masculine is very, very clear. The divine masculine knows what he needs to do. And the breakthroughs and the healing that he has are absolutely affecting the divine feminine. And that's why there's this shake up, this realization. You know, this is also the queen of pentacles, somebody who's been too overly 3D focused and may find that, you know, there's this, there's, there's much more to a connection um, than what she thought. And in meeting the divine masculine, there's this spiritual awareness that's coming through. But the divine masculine here is absolutely powerful and very balanced with his feminine energy. <laughs> and as I say that, we get the queen of the queen of wands, confident and magnetic. So I feel like the divine masculine here is somebody who gets a lot of attention. With these two queens, maybe somebody who's very who in the three D is very successful. Somebody who um, may own their own business. This is somebody who's done a lot of shadow work, and they are. This is next level. This is a next level partner. Um, the Divine Feminine may feel as if she has some work to do to up level or to get into this place, but it's like this is this Ten of Cups, this contentment and joy has been awoken within her. And I just keep getting, you know, we see these two queens coming out and we see the Knight and the, and the King. The, the Divine Feminine is realizing here that she may have been dealing with pages and knights when she really has now found this king. Okay, and the divine the divine masculine is very balanced with his feminine energy. And that makes him all the more confident and magnetic and he is full fully focused here on his divine feminine, either winning her back, you know, or in some sort of way feeling as if he has to rescue her from a current situation, but he knows that she has to rescue herself. So I feel like there's a little bit of an energy here of waiting, but there's definitely been an aha moment or some sort of communication, whether it's from the divine or between the two of you, okay, that has just supercharged this connection. So we see the Ten of Wands in reverse. I love that because somebody's releasing these heavy burdens. It looks like it's the divine feminine getting out of a difficult karmic cycle, all right, and we have the Page of Pentacles. She may not have a concrete vision of the future, but the masculine does. And he's willing to sort of hold that view of the future. Or he's holding space for the Divine Feminine to right herself, to energetically align, um, to make changes that she needs to in order to come towards him. He will meet her halfway. We get the Knight of Pentacles, steady progress. So this is beautiful. This is about commitment. This is about stability. So I feel like, again, this lightning bolt moment was when you guys met or when you guys got together. And something has created a space between you guys, a bit of a void, whether it's a third party or it's just I need a little bit of space to figure out what's going on. But it's I love this because the Divine Masculine is very, very sure of who his Divine Feminine is and what sort of she needs to achieve before they can be together. He's supporting and loving her, even if it's from afar. And we get the Two of Pentacles balancing act. But he also knows that it's a precarious position to be in for the Divine Feminine. And he knows that she's walking a, a, a fine line here. Um, because there is this happiness that's been awoken, but there's, a there's this drama around her as well. Okay, and it could just be from previous relationships, drama that needs to be healed and released. Um, or, you know, it's this energy of juggling because somebody here could be juggling. We see, you know, the two queens here. We see the knight and the king. So it could be that there is there is some sort of third party influence here. But I do feel like, again, with this two of pentacles, that this is the divine feminine walking this tight line. And look, she's halfway there. She's halfway there. And on the other side, it's this, it's union. 
And so it's not her needing to work for this connection or to better herself to be with the divine masculine. It's her own inward journey that's taking place and he's holding space for her. Wow. Overall energy, the three of wands awaiting results. I told you divine masculine is holding space for the divine feminine feminine. And the stars are aligning. Absolutely. The stars are aligning. Ready for growth and expansion here. All right. So let's take a look and see what's going on with the Divine Feminine. Cultural differences. So this could be different love languages. It could be that you're from different backgrounds, different age groups, behaviors, traditions, religions, beliefs. All right. And addiction. Yeah. So I do see that, you know, I see that with the Knight of Cups, you know, the Divine Feminine, you know, not all of my Divine Feminines have jumped from one relationship to another, but there may have been this sort of need for attention, ego energy, a fear of an, a fear of abandonment is what I'm picking up on that may have been blocking her from her true Ten of Cups. I feel like there's this need for this contemplation, this need to get into that hermit mode on the Divine Feminine side, and she very well may already have been. Okay, that's definitely possible, but there's something here that's shifting or needs to shift with the divine feminine to, you know, take so take the pressure or the focus out of the 3D. So the divine masculine is very financially stable. I told you I was picking up on like business owner and physically active. I mean, the divine masculine, if you're the divine masculine listening, you know you've got it all. You absolutely know you've got it all. You look good. You feel good. You've been doing this. You've been working towards this betterment, this enlightenment, changing your life, up-leveling for quite some time. And you know that there's a, you know, you know that there's a fine line here. Um, and, and you know what it means to backslide as well if you're the divine masculine. Um, but you've really built yourself up here. You have been preparing for this union, whether you know it or not, for lifetimes, okay? Or some of you, you know, again, you may have met this person a long time ago and your divine feminine was this impetus to do better, to feel better, to see things better, okay? And you, may, you might be recognizing that there's a little bit of an imbalance or you're not exactly on the same frequency. Ooh, yes, but you guys are very passionate about your divine feminine and vice versa. A lot of passion here, you guys. All right, so let's see what other messages come through for my Taurus Twin Flames. I hope you guys are enjoying this series. I know I am. It's a little bit different. Um, but so is the Twin Flame journey, right? All right, so we've got self-care. So I do see that. I feel like the Divine Feminine also, I mean, I do get this little, a little bit of an energy of over-intoxication. Again, that doesn't have to be alcohol or drugs, but it can be food, it can be spending, it can be just anything that's sort of pulling her out of her highest expression of herself. Because I see that the Divine Masculine is in a very healthy place. And I'm not just talking about, you know, diet and exercise. I'm seeing like energetically very balanced and very healthy. And so the Divine Feminine here needs to clear her energy. And it may be also clearing the energy of past lovers, okay? Um, and there are different ways that you guys can do that. But it, there is some negative imprinting that's in her system or creating energetic blocks from past lovers is what I'm getting that needs to be healed and cleared as well. And we get denial, detached with love to clearly see the truth. So I don't feel like the masculine is in denial at all. Okay, I feel like he has detached to clearly see the truth. And he is. All right, and then we get new love. So a new love or recommitment to love is developing. So for some of you guys, you may know who I'm talking about. For others of you, this is your divine masculine that you're calling in or vice versa, your divine feminine. Yeah, I'm getting a little bit of an unsteady in energy from the Divine Feminine. Um, if this was a breakup or if there was a third party situation, you know, the Divine Feminine, you or she, whoever I'm talking to, may have either 
had a number of sort of fleeting romances, maybe even one night stands. Remember, I'm not judging at all. Um, or may have even, you know, just sort of stopped taking care of herself, okay, because she felt like, you know, she wasn't being loved and supported by the divine masculine. But I do feel like that's being that's being purged and released. She's seeing that, that self-care and that self-love and that compassion is being awoken again. I'm also picking up on a divine feminine who may have a history of, you know, maybe had a history of dysfunctional relationships um, or even, you know, addictions and, you know, bad behaviors in the past. And what I mean by bad behavior is things that were hurtful to her, okay? <clears throat> there may have been an absent parent or some childhood codependency needs that weren't met. Um, and But the, remember, the divine masculine here loves you regardless. Um, and for some of you, this is past energy, okay? It's being purged and released, and this recommitment or this new love is, is happening, okay? So in about one week, there's some sort of breakthrough, maybe even communication, I'm lonely and I'm ready for love. Yeah. So whether the divine feminine is in a connection or not, she's lonely and ready for love. All right. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Okay. Could be in your chart or could be with the person you're dealing with. And Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Wow. Yeah. So here's that Taurus energy. So I am talking to a lot of divine masculine Taurus. And remember, this is not gender. Okay, or you're just sitting very heavily in the divine masculine, or you could be dealing with another earth sign. All right, and we get hot passion and deep kisses. Mm, absolutely, and we see that with the passionate. So, and in about three weeks, so we have something very important happening here, um, especially with the divine feminine in about one to three weeks, and that could be this sort of self-care, this purging and releasing of this of energetic blocks or past partners or karmic relationship kind of coming to a head so that this new love here can develop. All right, Taurus, let's go ahead and get into your crystal wisdom healing oracles. Wow. So this came popping out 49 for the Divine Feminine graphic smoky quartz. That was like, that card came busting out like it needed to be on the table. <laughs> For the Divine Masculine, we have Quantum Quattro. Look at that. Oof, the Divine Masculine in this reading is cooking. All right, and then we get Flint, number two. Some of you might uh, live in Flint, Michigan, is what I just heard. That's weird. All right. Um, and I'm also hearing Larry Flint. However, that might resonate. I don't know. Somebody here may have... Um, I don't know, maybe previously. I know this is a weird message and I don't want you to take it the wrong way, but somebody here may have been a stripper in the past um, or, you know, that may have that in their history. Okay, not for everybody. And again, no, absolutely zero judgment passing here on this channel. All right. Um, yeah, because I heard the Hustler Club with that, not... Yeah, anyway. So Graphic Smoky Quartz, the stabilizer. So Graphic Smoky Quartz supports all the structures in the body, removing toxic debris and traumatic memories. I told you. Um, it keeps you grounded and balanced in physical incarnation while exploring other dimensions. A lack of trust in yourself and other people creates psychological barriers that lie at the heart of your dis-ease. Your self-esteem is low, creating a deficient immune system. Memories of old traumas have subtly amended your ancestral DNA. At a deep level, you have been compressed and limited. Allow yourself to expand again. And the masculine, this is the work of the masculine. He is in this expansion. It's affecting the divine feminine. So it's important that you undertake a shamanic journey into the unseen worlds in search of healing. There you will find the underlying causes of disease and outdated soul imperatives that are affecting your well-being. Offer yourself the gift of transmutation. Absolutely. All right. And I feel like the divine masculine is absolutely knows that at a deep level, this is what's happening. What's going on is the stabilization of the divine feminine. And I feel this beautiful energy of him holding space for her. So the divine masculine is in the energy of synergy with quantum quattro. Um, this stone has amazing healing power and a dramatic effect on physical vitality. And look at that. We did get physical activity. Um, 
It brings about an energetic shift and integration. So you are an extremely complex person who is seeking wholeness within yourself. Examine all facets of your personality, especially those you hide from yourself or others. Accept those of value. Find the gift hidden deep within mistakes. Forgive and let go. Release yourself from codependencies and abusive relationships. And I also feel like the divine masculine may have experienced that in the past as well, but is also picking up on what the divine feminine has gone through, or there was a deep conversation about this. Heal your inner child and recognize the resources you have to draw on. Recognizing that you cannot heal anyone else or influence their behavior enhances your own well-being. And I told you, with this tightrope, the Divine Masculine knows that the Feminine has work to do. He's absolutely still just as passionate about her or you, um, but he's holding space here. All right, so and number two, uh, Portal Power. Flint stabilizes energy and cuts through to the core of issues, clearing blockages and loosening ties. So I told you there's this major stabilization taking place. It opens portals to other worlds and hidden aspects of yourself. Um, strengthen your boundaries. Cut through confusion to the core of the matter. Soul retrieval is necessary. If you left any part of yourself in another life or an abusive childhood experience. So this is coming up again. And I'm also feeling like you know, some a long time ago, I read that, you know, when you sleep with somebody, particularly if you're a female, remember, I'm not reading gender here, but particularly for females who can be masculine or feminine, um, like having a sexual partner, you know, that person's energy stays in you for, you know, I don't remember how long it was, and you can look that up. But I feel like there's something here that does need to be that there, there is a detox that's taking place. Um, Paying attention to energetic boundaries and core strength, cutting detrimental ties and strengthening your connection to the planet maintains well-being. So also a need for a lot of grounding, but there's a deep cleanse and detox taking place here, you guys. All right, I'm going to leave it there, Taurus. I'm sending you lots of love and light. Take care.